can tell sometimes when you're walking down the street and how people are and like I don't know they might have a cool little thing going but not half as rad as what we got going that's for sure question is, well, why are they all build, being built in Washington and Oregon? Well, they're not all being built in Washington and Oregon. They're being built all over the planet. But the ones that you're hearing about are the ones that we're building because we're not, we're, it's, it, we're not just park builders. We're not just park designers. We're design build on site. We're skateboarders as an entire crew. We're not just a couple of skateboarders trying to help out. We're we are all skateboarders, the whole crew, and and uh, that's why the parks are turning out the way that they are. And it's uh, it's real important to have all skateboarders and design build on site, done deal, start to finish. And if you're not doing it that way, you're you're not doing it right. Banks went up there in 90. Yep, just started building Brett Taylor and uh, Kent Dogren, Jay Graham, uh, a few other guys, uh, myself. Started uh, started making a few things and uh, I just kind of took it upon myself to really dedicate some time into it. And, Keep it going, and, and no matter what anybody said, like oh they tear it down, or like, whatever, just blow them off. Just keep doing it. Yeah, we're lucky because uh, we met some some allies along the way that that liked what we we're doing and helped us out. <clears throat> helped in that, you know, just to say, you know, leave those guys alone because they're doing a good thing. I mean, what was there before anyway? Who cares? It wasn't a the place wasn't winning any beauty contest before anyway. I think it all started with Burnside, and you know that that created the drive. It created like a a centralized area where everybody could kind of eat and fucking, you know, brainstorming when people, you know, were getting together and realizing that, hey, wait a second, dude, fucking shit load of us, you know? They were going, well, you know, if there's so many of us, then why can't we go and get our own stuff built? Burnside evolved from nothing. It evolved from 
you know, like I said, a nasty area underneath the bridge. And he got scoped by skateboarders. And I said, this is the spot where we're gonna make some shit happen. I don't even think of it really like a skate park, you know? It's, I don't know, it's something unto itself, that's for sure. There's nothing like it in the world. I kind of laugh about it, and, and, and when people say, yeah, it all started with Burnside, and, but I, I think it's true. I think the way that it was started really is and was molded from the from Burnside's magnitude. Pirates used to come and hide out because nobody could catch them. It's like the vortex. You come here, you disappear. Nobody knows where you're at. Nobody knows where you're where you're going. Nobody knows where you've been. Disappeared off the face of the earth, dude. I've no contacts with the mainland. Severed all ties. Severed all ties. Dropped out. Dropped out of society. Pretty much disappeared, everybody. Nobody knows. I mean, they might know we're up here building a park or something. You know, you don't hear nothing about it. You don't know what goes on here. Nobody knows I'm in with Ray Clever. You know? Who's Ray Clever? The sheriff. We're running the show up here. This is the biggest joint fucking skater thing I've project I've ever been into. Usually it's like, you know, it's all set up or something. You know, it was it's pretty much whoever's there this week and if they got the balls to put on the belt and fucking nail some two by fours together. Then they were fucking designing the skate park. Just whoever. It's not a fucking big deal. There's a lot of shit going down. I think we need to open the kitchen up. We're paying to make the parks good too. We're like, we're, we could be, we could be uh, classified as semi donators to every park we work on, you know? Instead of just taking all the money and building what, you know, with some crap. And everyone really thinks about it. It's not like just a 
throw it up or design it on paper and this is what it's going to be. It's like you dwell over every little obstacle. I'm getting the feeling that it's all about level changes and like being like on your board like it's a roller coaster. You go down and then you go down again and then your your heart drops out when you go down the third time, you know, but the, and then you go up and you and then you go back down again, you know, it's like that's really the funnest stuff when you go down, down and then flatten and then up, down, up, up, you know, that's that's orcas, yeah. yeah. You know, the, the kids who are interested will come and skate whatever you put there, so might as well build what you think is the you know, most optimum thing to do. It's like finding your own girlfriend as opposed to getting fucking going to a whorehouse. It's just way better. It has way more fucking... Uh, Who's going? Just us? It's all we need. Is backup? I just remember how it used to be in the old days where we really fucking did it. Yeah, if I for it. We'd find anything and, and really, really enjoy it. Like the bone. Just, yeah, and that was like, you know, if you made something in a park, it'd probably be a lot better than that. <laughs> but that's what you got. I went to the Nude Bowl and I came back and I said, I'm going to ride the bone like the Nude Bowl locals ride their fucking place. So that's, we really started attacking it. What's the deal with these pipes anyway? They used to be full pipes, but then they, they got cut in half with like it's fucking torch, so the shit's kind of like, Real jagged. It's fucking gnarly. I think it's better now. I rode them as full pipes and now I get to ride them as half pipes. All these are rideable too, dude. Like I said, they just have to be full. It's just hard to work when there's so much riding to do. Revolution's gonna be all these hippies in Oregon beating up the cops. Fucking bulls taking their clubs away from them, smacking them. Yeah. It's funny going into all these smaller towns. It, it, it always turns out best. The smaller the town, the better, the, the better off we are as far as design build crew because we can come in and go, yeah, we don't know what we're gonna build, but we're gonna build it real good. And they at first they go, oh, okay, you got a good reputation, so I gotta go ahead. And so we start building and they're a little skeptical at first and then they warm up real quick once they see that we're not just a bunch of dirty old skateboarders who are just coming in to, to geek their town. We're actually coming in and we want to build something real good that we want to come back and ride.
Been making boards since 1999. Probably made about 1,500 of them so far. And we're gonna keep making them forever. <laughs> made in Portland, Oregon, in the basement of my home. <laughs> you know? And uh, low overhead. Yeah, do it yourself. Like if you're at home, do it yourself, you know? Build your own park, build your own boards, pour your own trucks. If you don't have access to it yourself, then maybe you should try to make it on your own, you know? I mean, make sure it's it one fits. way to look at it, for sure. Uh, you don't have to succumb to outside forces when you're willing to do it for yourself. You're kind of writing your own ticket, for sure. So that's what we're trying to do, write our own ticket. Done deal. Um, never left a skater's hands, and uh, it's probably a pretty good thing. Skating is standing, rolling, standing unattached on a board with four wheels. That's skating. <laughs> But after you skate for a long time, it's just kind of becomes like a part of you, you know? And it's just like, it's something that you do. But it's more than just an exercise. It's hard to explain, but you know. I like skating alone because it's just, it's just you and there's no one watching and uh, it's nice.
you're a skateboarder and you want to go do some cool shit in a week, go to Oregon. Get two or three of your friends and skate. I like to step it up. You have to up here, you know? It's like, you, you don't want to half-ass it up here because the parks aren't set up for that, you know? So you can't really half-ass it. Either go or, you know, get out of the way. Oh, I just knew it'd be a really fun thing to skate, and they are, they're, they're real, they're real fun, they're fun for everybody, they're fun for the kids, kids love cradles, cradles, you know, girls like them, guys, kids, moms, dads, everybody loves cradles, you know, every, everywhere needs a cradle, you know, and we're going to try to make that happen. Whether even like Red and those guys realize it or not, you know, there's a lot of artistry involved, you know. They definitely take pride in what they do and, you know, it's, it's pretty much like the most creative use of concrete I've ever seen. And it's, it's almost like a living thing, it's strange, it's awesome. They are changing the future of skateboarding, little by little. Indians live in there? Hello. No, we don't want any Indians. <laughs> 
Indians? No, yeah. Indians. Ho, ho, go. No, All right, Indians. partner. What's up, dude? All right. Uh, Indians for me. Oh. I'll have to right with you. Well, Where is it? On in? Up, up town. <laughs> no, right around here. No. An empty swimming pool. I'm gonna do this. There's a fence. So look through it. Oh, oh. So we're on the pool mist right oh, now. Oh, 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 oh,
we're building skate parks for people like me and you, people like are gonna be skating for the duration and uh, that's about the bottom line making it for us you ever watch him at the end of the at the end of the process you just a little bit I haven't really seen too much of the whole process unfortunately these motherfuckers are out there after the park's done and you or me would be riding it for like three days polishing the motherfucker I mean they fuck you gotta go out there sometime and watch how these fucking guys I know, work I want they work to. like 14 hours a day I mean these guys are no fucking joke and that's the thing they skate they fucking build and they volunteer and they're right? down I, I want them back and back I gotta hit the road I gotta hit the road Skipping out on this town and all your fucking clowns If we don't do something good, we're going to hear about it. If a contractor doesn't do something good, they you know, might hear about it once, but we got to we got to see these skaters every day for the rest of our lives. Because we skate too, you know. So that's our main drive. Just like, what are, what are all our friends going to think? Some people ask me, you know, like, how do you build a park or want the city, da da da. Fuck the city. You know, if it's something you want, go do it. You know, go do it in your backyard or. If you want it, you'll you'll build it, really, and you'll learn. Yeah, it's pretty amazing to be able to uh, hand sculpt some insane terrain. You don't see Babe Ruth out there digging the baseball field, or Michael Jordan's not out there building the, you know, knitting the net. And these guys are out there polishing that concrete to a nice, fine finish so that it doesn't injure anybody. And they're just making the concrete temples for us, you know? Concrete skate temples, that's where we're at right here. We created our own atmosphere for ourselves. And I don't think, even think we knew what we were doing the whole time. And it just now, it, it's turned into something we, ne we never expected it would have gotten this far. How many guys work on your crew? Oh, 65 now. Going big time now. International. Get the crew out in Singapore. Get the crew in the Canada. USSR. The uh, Iraq. Get the new crew in Iraq. Having a little trouble over there though. 
guess that's about it. Yeah, it's about 150 of us. The Iraqi crews have to yeah. Have some job. yeah. <laughs> That Iraqi crew is having a little difficulty over there. It's not quite panning out with all this fucking bush stuff going on. I think I think we might be able to work it out. Either that or we might have to pull out. These guys kind of just create their own reality, you know? They just made it happen. You know, if it wasn't for guys like Red Monk, like getting out there and actually like making it happen, it probably wouldn't be like it is, you know? Probably be public parks, but they'd just be crappy little tanks. Kind of funnels down, and you're going, I don't know, probably 50, 60, 70 miles an hour going down towards the deep area. And then you get to the lip, and it's just click, 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 just like you're on the railroad tracks, just going. There must be hippies in the government or something, because, uh, they're just building cool shit. They're, I don't see them out there with a fucking stick. Like, that's too big, that's too big, that's too small. No one's doing that. And it's like, they're just putting it in these guys' hands to build, like, the best stuff. And that's what's going down. Yeah, it's fucking skateboarding shit. It's not a fucking sport. It's a fucking way of life. So you fucking ain't in there for the duration. And just fucking step aside because you're gonna get plowed <laughs> the natural drive of skateboarder is to basically conquer all terrains. So even if you had 20 public parks in a given area, people are still gonna slap a curb or do a wall ride skating down the street or, you know, they're gonna spot an empty pool through a fence. They're still gonna ride it, you know what I mean?
Drain that pool. 